I want to go ahead and jump into Live Arena. It's been a while since I've done a Live Arena, um, what do you call it? Not a showcase, but a Live Arena video. And I've been getting a little bit more into it lately. Not fully. I don't think I'm going to really ever love Live Arena, but sometimes I'm just in the mood and sometimes I just feel like doing it. But I actually wanted to start off by showing you guys um, this new team that I found on Reddit yesterday. I'm not the originator of this team, but I wanted to give you an update on what it's looking like for Odin on this account that I have here. All right, so on my main account, I've gotten to 30. I've gotten it to about a one to two minute, two minutes and 30 seconds run on average. Pretty consistent, hasn't failed yet, but I am waiting for a specific event tailored to this dungeon. I think it's going to be a two or three X for pinpoint. Now, I can do 26, but it's not 100% because I'm missing a little bit of extra damage. I think certain procs need to, well, proc, but they're not. On stage 25, I think I'm going to settle here. I think I'm going to settle on 20, or I'm going to settle on 25. 20 is in 2 seconds, 25 is in 10 seconds. I think I'm going to take the chance where I think it's going to be a higher uh, drop rate for better gear. I'm not entirely sure. I believe, from what I'm hearing in my experiences, 26 or 27 and above drops mythical gear. I would have liked to be able to do 26 and above, but I'm just not there yet. I'm missing a nut. The guy on Reddit... The team that I've gotten this from, uh, it's a guy who put a team together with three nuts. And I thought that was interesting because he's got three nuts. That's a real manly man right there. Most men only ever have two nuts. Some, only one. Even more so, some, some have none. No nuts. So, it, you know, I'm not telling you to make this team. It's unrealistic. It's unrelatable. But you guys already know me. I'm not entirely somebody who puts out content for free to play or relatability i kind of just do whatever the, you know whatever i want and if i can do something and i feel like sharing that I, you know that's what i do um if i can do a free to play thing you know I, I do it every now and then i've got some free to play content as well but you guys know me at this point if you've been with me for a while uh, burrito just does whatever he wants right that's the way it's going to be if you want free to play relatability like go go find some other channel because they're they're there for it there's a lot of them I'm not the one. But Deacon is going to be in a stun set. He's going to go first. He's going to decrease turn meter and then push back turn meter as well as increase our turn meter and then place the AOE decrease defense. And of course, Nuts hit the A3s and Acrisias hit their A2s and A3s and, you know, do their EMHP moves. So let's go ahead and show you this. And it takes care of Odin relatively quickly, right? And uh, you see we're chopping down through Odin pretty well. <laughs> Definitely not free to play. And yeah, so I'm waiting for a, a good event to really dive into. But at the same time, you have to remember there is a Thor fusion. I've been seeing thumbnails. They're saying Thor is coming. So who knows? I'm not exactly sure. I kind of just vibe for the most part. Hayabusa, 041. Thank you for being my first contender. Now, you guys already know, whenever I do live arena, I do my best to try and commentate and do my best to talk through my thought processes. I'm not the best when it comes to these kinds of things, but you guys already know it is what it is. It's like my favorite saying, it is what it is. I heard that a lot when I was in the military. Hey man, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just like, well, shit, you're not wrong, bro. All right. He's probably going to bust out Narcissus and Taurus, right? So let's, um, well, let's bring in Siffy. I hate Narcissus. Taurus is a, is a hassle to deal with as well. Just let me bring in Rodos. Let me bring in Rodos. Rodos, come on. Ah, oh, he already knows. He already knew. He knew I was going to bring in Rodos. He already knew. Psych. I don't know. I, again, I'm not the best for live arena content. Oh. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was Narcy's. I, I think I messed up. I think I messed up a bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Actually, I, I really don't like Ancora. She's kind of a hassle. So let's do this. 
Now, UDK is just going to be my punching bag, and I'll do my best to just get by him. But I think we're going fast enough. I think we're going fast enough where we can outspeed the Nogdar from doing his thing. I think what he's going to try and do is aim down on my Sippy so that I don't have any revives. That's what I would do. But I'm going to try and prevent... I should have brought Warlord. That would have been smart for me to do. Let's do this. And then... We'll do this. Because Marisha's... What the... F Wait. Why is he back? Does he come back to life after he dies? What is this, dude? Stay down. All right. I was actually surprised. You know, I actually have not fought a Nogdar in quite some time. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've fought a Nogdar. So that was surprising, to say the least. Of course, Mariska brings Nogi back. Now, I could hit the A1. Does she ally attack with A1? Yeah, it is. It's this one. There you go. And now it's just pretty much a a fight to see who leaves first or if he's... Oh, never mind. I spoke just quickly enough. All right. In other news, on my main account where I'm really pushing for Marius... Not really pushing. I've been actively pushing, but not like really pushing because I've missed a few days. But I finally finished the Iron Twins mission. The one where you have to get... It's its completely chance and it's time-gated, right? Because you're limited to how many you can do a day. How many Iron Twin battles you can do a day. Even if you're gemming it, right? Alright, so he got Warlord and Arbiter in there. So he's planning to go fast. I'm feeling Tormin. But let's bring Sifi Rotos in. He's probably going to pick a UDK also. I should have brought Sun Wukong. I forgot about Sun Wukong. Damn. Interesting. Let's bring Tormin in. And we'll bring in... Actually, I won't have any damage. Actually, no, Tormin is my damage also. So we'll do this. We'll do this. If he's smart, his Warlord is going to be in Stoneskin. And if he takes a turn... Actually, no, there's no damage. If I take away his this guy, there's no damage. So now it's just support. Not saying that he's not going to be able to do anything to me, but it's going to be a little bit longer to, to deal with. What was I saying before I, I saw I saw this? I, I always do this, guys. I always lose my train of thought. But also, I think this is really good for me to practice because as you already know, probably, on my other channel... I do Let's Plays, I do Story Explains, I do psychological deep dives into characters from video games. And it's always good for me, especially during the Let's Plays, for me to practice. Don't do it. Oh, perfect. For me to practice the um, the commentary. Because oftentimes, I, I see it, I used to do it. I would watch people play. Uh-oh. 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 A2? Oof. Damn. Good thing I still have Tormund. Never mind. Oftentimes what I do is... Uh, or I, like, I see a lot of people who do commentary, or rather they, they don't do too much commentary. And it's good practice, I think, to, to, to work on it. Because, you know, everything... Kind of just takes practice. I'm going to lose this one, aren't I? Freeze. Damn, my Torm is not hitting hard enough. Let's just leave. Damn, guys. Damn, 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 damn. Well, I'm not too happy about that. I thought I had a good chance of winning, but that's the problem. You know, if you don't go fast, you get outsped, it doesn't matter. You know, because your nukers, if they can't go, they can't take a turn. They can't take a turn. There's nothing. But I was kind of in a rock in a hard place. Like, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? There was nothing for me to do. 
I have no chance. I could pick Shuzen also. No, let's let's stick. We we pretty much pick the same characters, right? Sifi Rodos, Mikage, Harima. Oh yeah, but this is a great way. That's what I, I remember. <laughs> I remember my train of thought now. I think this is a great way for me to get. Oh god damn it! He chose Mikage. I think this is a good way for me to get some practice in in terms of learning to do commentary. Right. If you're a if you do YouTube and you try to be a gaming content creator, one of the things that we have an Ethwe. I forgot about him. One of the things that you're going to probably eventually if you get serious enough about it, one of the things that you're probably eventually going to watch are videos on how to do and provide better commentary. Let's get rid of we're bringing an Ethwe in and let's get rid of UDK. Actually, I probably should have gotten rid of Mikage. We'll bring you in for the uh, a blessing thing. And in those videos, you're going to see a lot of people say, hey, it just takes practice. As it does with anything in life, you just want to practice. So if you want to learn to do better commentary, well, you got to practice. And yeah, there's there's definitely truth to that. So what I'm going to do here is... Put you to sleep. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. It looks like that may or may not have been a mistake. We'll see. Let's get rid of Makage. All right. Anithu's got to take a turn. I got to get Rotos to take a turn, too. Don't hit the A2. Don't hit the A2, bro. He hit the A2. Luckily... We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's get rid of you. Now let's get rid of Elva. And it's a clap. It's a clap. I make that ass clap. Respectfully to this guy. But it's hard, you know? Doing commentary for video games, especially like Let's Plays, isn't exactly the easiest thing. Especially when things aren't happening or doing, like nothing's going on sometimes. Or you've been doing it for, like, if you're playing the same game for, like, six hours, it gets a little bit hard to talk about whatever's going on the entire time. You get tired. It's a, it's a very tiring process. Here on the Raid channel, especially when I'm doing something like this, it's relatively easier to do because these sessions are are smaller, right? And there's always something to go back and forth on. I can always commentate about what's going on in the picking process, what I'm thinking about when I'm making moves in a fight. And, okay, so he's got no damage here. So I'm going to bring in you, and we'll also bring in... Anithwi? No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's bring in Shoes in. Shoes in? Shoes in? Let's bring in Shoes in. Let's give Shoes in some love. I could talk about character skills, strategies, even more so when I'm doing like how to's, champion guides, dungeon dungeon guides, things like that. It, it's it's kind of easy to do. Not not to say that it's entirely you know the easiest thing to do, but you get where I'm coming from. Especially when you stream. When you stream, you have the audience to riff off of, right? So if you guys were here right now on stream with me. You guys could talk about your day and I could talk about that. That way I could keep the ball rolling in terms of doing commentary. Or we could go back and forth on my choices in Live Arena or why don't I do this strategy or why don't I use Georgid? And then I would tell you, hey, I don't use Georgid because everybody always bans Georgid, so there's no point. I guess if I wanted to bait. But, yeah. So he's got no damage right now. A lot of support. But as you've seen before, and now that I think about it, sometimes you can win a battle in Live Arena with just straight support. So, what are we going to do here, guys? Let's boost turn meter. And let's give Harima a turn. And we're going to get rid of Arbiter. 
We're not going to get rid of Arbor. We're, oh gosh, we're not going to get rid of her. I thought we were going to, but we're not. We're in trouble now, guys. A2. Actually, A3, because we have the block buffs up. There you go. A2 or A3? What are you doing? A2. Good choice. Now, because UDK is here, I'm kind of stuck. And a lot of people will say, oh, you know, why don't you ban UDK? I don't know, bro. Sometimes I make mistakes. Chill out. Why don't you do this? Now, my, my thinking is always like, eventually, as long as I can outlast, I don't have to worry too much about UDK because he doesn't really do anything other than sit there and then take a bunch of hits. Now, I do have to worry about Sun Wukong because, well, he's Sun Wukong. And now this is just the game of, of waiting, A3. You already know what you're going to do. Just A3 it already. Oh, he a one Why did he A1? Maybe he's saving. Maybe he's saving for it. A2. Everybody's going to get the stun. Ah, you sheep siffy. I'm not a fan of sheep. Did I tell you guys this? I, I did um live arena, and I lost to this guy three times in a row. Four times in a row, actually, because every time I would go in, even though I had all the right champions in place and I knew what I was doing, freaking, um, I kept getting sheep. It didn't matter. I was getting sheep left and right. And now she's going to CC me until I die. There it is. Oh, my God. You win some, you lose some. Can't win them all. Sleep, A1. Unless you have your stun? Yeah, she's got her stun. Should we... Should we leave? We should leave. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. But you know, we're gonna keep it. I'm not infallible. I make mistakes. I lose. ASU Beto. 197. Hey, what happened to um the content creators' YouTube channel? Didn't ASU... They formed together and they made a YouTube channel together. Or weren't they doing Champion Guys together? I'm confused. What happened with that channel? Let's go ahead and bring in Sun Wukong ourselves. And let's bring in Arbiter. Let's go fast this time. Let's change it up. Let's go fast. We're going to try our best to go fast. Let's bring in Necrit and Georgid. Necrit, Georgid, and Warlord. Where's Warlord? Where are you? There you are. There you are, Warlord. My stone skin Warlord. I like me some more, Lord. Oh my god, really? The one time I decide I'm going to pick Necrit, you decide to pick Necrit? I'm bringing Georgian in. How dare thee? How dare you? Merman. What do you have? Sivy Rodos? What do you got? Who should we bring in now? Ah. Of course. He's got a Gizzy. Glizzy, I think we should bring in Siffy. Now, it's almost pretty, it's imperative, honestly, that we get rid of, uh, is it? Yeah, I think we need to get rid of him. And see, Necrit, or Georgit always gets banned. This is going to be a rather difficult fight, I think. This one's not going to go too well. But I had no choice, because if I let, if I had let, um, who am I talking about? The guy I banned, if I had let him stay, I would have been sheeped, and this fight would have gone nowhere. So now we're stuck with this. I'm not feeling this fight. I feel like we're already going to lose. Don't be so negative, burrito. After three back-to-back -back losses, let's just let's just keep going. Let's, let's let's see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not cut out for this. I'm not. This is not me. This is part of why I don't like Laverina. 
And I know what you're saying. Burrito, you started off saying you, you were enjoying it. I was, because I was winning. I was winning these last few fights. I think. Two nights ago. And now for some reason I'm not. Maybe it's the weekend and all the actual players are here. Just smiting guys like me. Who don't know how to do live arena. Oh god, I, I don't look forward to the mission. I actually have a way I, I'm going to go around the uh, live arena mission. I think I'll record that later today. All right, bring you back. What are we doing here? What's going on? Can we can we please let me can we, can we please just let me win? Let me let me win. It's not happening. I'm I'm bored already. Let's go. Next fight. Take this. Let's go. Please give me a fight I can win. Although I would be curious, l'élu du raid. I would be curious how some of you would would pick these um, fights. All right, so we have to. Where I never know where he is. Where where is Armand's at? Never know where he is. My usual picks have always has have been Siffy Rotos. But I should probably wait for Siffy Rotos and, and pick like, I don't know, Sun Wukong and UDK. And then Siffy Rotos. Although he's got some speed boosting going on here. Taurus. Taurus. Yashid's actually kind of nice. Like, she's super fast, and she's got those extra turns. She's been popping off. Okay. So, the issue here is, if we're not going fast enough, it doesn't matter even if I do get rid of Taurus. We're just going to get, like, CC'd up the ass. So, I don't know. Let's just get rid of Taurus. It's kind of hard to want to decide to leave him alive. But also, I'm thinking, like, maybe I should have banned Arbiter as well. Slow Sippy on my end. He's thinking. He's thinking. What is this? A2? Hit the decreased turn meter and speed down. Wow! You see that? That Yasha can smack. I saw 42k on Sun Wukong. That's crazy. Let's hit this. Maybe we can get a fear off. Fear procs. I feel like I got lucky that time. I, I I don't feel like I was in control of that fight. Apex. Okay, let's do pop 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 Armands, as always. Pretty much live arena nowadays. It's just Armands and Sun Wukongs and UDKs and then all the meta champions. I hate being in Gold 2 live arena. I hate being in Gold 2 live arena, guys. That's what I'm talking about right here. This is what I mean. So I, I feel like he's going to pick Rodos. So I'm going to beat him to it. And you know what? We're going to ban UDK this time. I don't care who he picks. We're banning UDK. We're picking Mikage and Harima here. Or Necrid and Georgian. No, because there's no increased attack there. 
There's no increased attack. Harima. I wonder who he's going to let stay. Ron is actually not the easiest to deal with either. We'll pick Siffy. Get some extra resistance in. Yeah, Rhonda is brutal, especially with her joining in on attacks. It's it's pretty nasty. So I kind of want to get rid of her, but at the same time, I think we should... I don't know. Let's just go with our initial gut here. I was thinking maybe like transform and then do the stun. But at the same time, I was kind of like, oh, let's let's vibe and see what happens. I wonder if this guy is going to be a new champion, like a new mythical champion. He looks pretty cool. A white lion in white armor in knight armor. El Guapo. I think I fought this guy before. All right. Where is Armand's? There you are. I found you this time. You know what we should do? Let's do Arbiter and Georgia. Arbiter Necrit. Damn it. Let's let's pick Warlord and Necrit. Necrit Necrit. Let's ban Crixia because she's just too nasty with it. Too nasty. The thing she does is absolutely nasty. And we'll bring in Harima. Actually, no, I should bring in somebody else. Somebody who brings increased attack. That was my initial plan. You bring increased attack. Oh, but then if I do this, there's like no damage. So now we're going to have to change it up. Let's bring in Sun Wukong. At least he's got some damage to him. Or Rodos? I always fall back on Rodos. It doesn't matter. Shu Zen. Now... Oof, 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 oof. This is kind of a toughie here, but we're definitely going to have to ban Crixia. And we're going to have to rely on maybe being okay. We'll see. Because Tormund and Gizmak will probably mess me up. What is this blessing here? I'm not sure. And surprisingly, Gizmak smacks. I thought he was a bad champion because people were initially telling me he was a bad champion. Or they weren't too, like, excited about him, but I don't know. Every time I go up against him, he seems to do very well. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Did he remove my stone skin? I would hit that A3. There you go. Let's push back turn meter. She still takes a turn. We're going to lock out. I would lock out her too. Um, hmm. Let's protect. Come on, Gizzy. Do your thing. Looks like the guy from God of War. Boom! There you go. Very nice. Damn! Tanky.
Bro, why are you taking five seconds to make a decision? It's over. Let's just go. Why is everybody so strong? You know what? He's almost at 4,000. I'm leaving. I'm not even going to fight this guy. It's like I want the easy fights, but at the same time, I'm just like, like how many fights have I lost so far? I've lost like pretty much every fight that I've fought. I, I think I won once. I, I hate Live Arena. <laughs> Oh my gosh, paranoia. It's got 3,300, so I don't know. I don't know how anybody competes in Live Arena. On it. Like, I can't even imagine what it's like being gold three or gold four. Because this is only gold two. I know what gold three is like already. There's a reason I didn't stay there. Of course you would. Of course. Of course you would. Gotta bring in one more damage dealer, though. Um, He's got Sun Wukong. I kind of want to bring in... But Necrit without increased attack... No, let's just bring in, um, let's show Candy some love. God, do I even have Candy built? Oh my god. Crixia. Actually, this wasn't a smart move, because Harima is there. So I'm going to be weak hitting. I should have banned Harima. Oh my goodness. Go to sleep, Harima. Sun Wukong, stay back. This is painful to watch, by the way. So if you're still here, let me know. I'd be curious to see who's still here. Because this must be painful to watch. Oh my god, you can't even one-shot her, Rodos? Pathetic. Useless. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dear God, Krixie is insane. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Don't do it to me. Oh my gosh, bro. Why don't you just chill out? This has got to be the most painful live arena that I've ever done. This is insanely painful to watch. Oh my god, bro. I'm over here like straight stressing, bro. Oh my gosh. I've been I've lost like how how many losses do I have? I have like 30 losses so far just in this stream. It's not 30. Maybe like I feel like I've lost 10 times in a row so far. Come on, let's do something here. Sometimes this goes all the way to a minute. And I kind of just have to wait for it to run all the way out. So that it, I don't know, reprocesses things. Because if I try to cancel and then go back in, it doesn't really place me anywhere. Yeah, I don't know why the, the matchmaking is like this. I feel like it should be faster. But for some reason, it's just not. Come on, bro. All right, how many losses do I like? Look at this, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six losses, dude. Look at my string of losses. That's crazy. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is a skill issue. Absolutely. I need water. I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. Okay. Onimaru. Let's start off with Sun Wukong. And I really want to bring in Arbiter. Oh, fuck, dude. Arbiter. We'll bring in Makage and Harima, the, the beautiful duo here. And we'll we'll slide in um Siffy Rotos. Actually no, let's bring in these two. Bring in some extra support. He's got the knee shack with him. I think in this situation, if we can outspeed him, I think we have a good chance of winning. Right. I do think that I have a decent chance of outspeeding his Armands. Okay, so he has that. I think we can outsurvive it. Let's get rid of his Arbiter. And uh, I think we have a good chance. We might have a good chance. Warlord is going decently fast. He's going decently fast. If we can if we can um you know hit the A3, we might be okay. I think we can do this. Yes, we did it. And now we get rid of you. And then sweep. There we go. Okay. They gave me an easy one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now please continue to give me a bunch of wins. Come on. Do you guys do the, um, I guess, basically what I do? You guys just choose the same characters over and over again? That's basically what I do. And I'm starting to, like, think and see that it's probably not the best thing to do. I should be more intuitively reactive instead of just straight active. But I don't know. We're going to bring in Warlord and Necrit. Probably our monsters. Never mind. I completely forgot about that. Warlord, Necrit, and... Well, now would be a good time to bring in Georgid. Now would be a great time to bring in Georgid. Probably Georgid and Harima, right? Those are... Unless he brings in UDK. Maybe? Because I'm thinking about Rotos also. Yeah, we're going to bring in these two. Oh, 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 I almost chose the wrong one. There you go. And this guy, whoever this is, is a complete dickbag. Like, I, I think he's just an auto ban. An automatic ban. I think we have a decent chance. Uh, actually, if he bans my Arbiter, I'm kind of screwed, I think. There's no, there's like no increased damage with, with Necrit. And I'll probably get outsped. But we'll, we'll see. Well, I don't know. I, I might outspeed his Armands, but, but I don't know. But I am going to be missing increased attack from Georgia. So that might be an issue. Okay, okay. Fast Warlord. Let's get rid of Armands. Do this. But he comes back. Who do you attack? I would too. Let's just hit the A1 here. And we're going to save for... Well, Wukong's going to be coming back. And Kor's going to hit the A1. Let's do this. Heal a little bit. Hit the A1 there. And finish it off. Well, there's a win. Dude, why do I have so many arena tokens? 
I gotta use those. The thing I don't like about the missions that we're set up with is that we're kind of forced to do certain areas of the game that you don't really care about. It's Polarium's way of like making us do something we don't want to do. Because I can sit here and say, yeah, you don't uh, you don't have to do everything. You don't have to, um, what do you call it, do Live Arena if you don't want to do Live Arena. But at the same time, it's like, hey, if you want that quote unquote free champion, if you want that Marius, you're going to have to do Live Arena. Live Arena is hell, bro. <laughs> that and the missions where you have to get the zeal artifacts and the impulse artifacts because you need to equip somebody with a full set six piece set up top not the accessories i don't even think there's accessories for those never mind and so it's like if you if you really want to get these champions you're gonna have to participate same thing for lamasu if you want lamasu you got to do siege it's not my favorite area neither is live arena i guess any pvp area really isn't my my favorite Okay, surprisingly, he hasn't pumped out any bangers yet. Anybody that I don't know how to completely deal with. Mithrala is actually pretty annoying. I, I kind of want to get rid of Mithrala. She's so tanky. She does the petrification. It's it's completely annoying. I almost want to bring in Necrit. But then I'm going to need some damage too. Harima, of course. We're going to get rid of Sun Wukong. Just because he has that extra speed and uh, he's going to be coming back to life quite often. And I don't feel like dealing with that right now. At least with these two, eventually, as long as I have Rotos, uh, things will be fine. Surely you're going to ban Armands. You can't leave Armands in there. Does he know? Does he know what he's going to do? It's a hard it's a hard pick, to be honest. But that, that was a, probably your best pick. Now, it's really going to depend on whether or not he decides he's going to just run the game out, run the, the fight out. Because I've been running into a lot of those guys where like they know they're going to lose, so they just purposely run the turn meter out. So let's get rid of Trunda. And then we're going to get rid of Duchess and then Swipe. It, maybe that's how it feels to be on the receive. Maybe this is how it feels to be on the receiving end. If you're one of those people who like struggles in live arena and you keep going up against guys who are a lot stronger than you, but just better champions and everything. Maybe that's how it feels. Maybe like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I think I can understand how you feel because you, you see the string of losses that I'm going up against people who just have stronger, better built champions than I do. And so it's like, yeah, you know what? I, I I get it. I get it. Let's let's be a little different. Let's bring in, because I'm picking. Let's not pick Sifi Rodos or Makage Harima. Let's let's bring in um. Let's bring in other people. Nice Yumiko. We're gonna bring in Necrit and Leorius. Oh, very good picks. Very good picks. And the last pick, let's bring in Shuzen. Actually, no, we're going to need more damage. Let's bring you in. Get rid of you. And maybe you would lead. Uh, yeah. No, let's bring in you. Hello, you. Okay. So. I think we can beat Yumiko out in terms of speed, unless he's got a sick fast. Yo, he, oh my god, she's so fucking fast, bro. Well, shoot. What do we do now? Wait, why did Necrit protect Tormin? Damn it! Uh-oh. This ain't good. And this is why we banned Georgid. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. God damn it. 
Good game. Good game. I wish you never bet you never met me though. Raid Espanol. Okay. Let's do this. And dude, that last guy was ready. He was ready to clap because he was picking his champion super fast. Like he just he just knew what was up. He knew what was about to happen. He's like, I'm a, I'm gonna this guy? He's going down. He is going down. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now we have to pick our next damage dealer, who is probably going to be... Do I have Staltis built out? I just pulled him. I just pulled Staltis, but I don't know if uh he's ready for it. I haven't really tested him out yet. I think we're going to have to bring in Harima. Probably Harima. Rotos? I'm so privy to Rodos. Yeah, let's bring in Rodos. Just to eventually be able to clap. Like, um, put the block revive on people. It, it's tough. This was a tough choice, to be honest. I don't, I don't blame him. He's got Tormund there. I'm like, should I risk it? Should I risk just doing the... Let's just risk it. There you go. Oh my god, we got frozen. It was not a good risk. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on. You can do it, Rodos. <laughs> you can do this, bro. You got this. Bro, I got Tormund. Maybe I should have banned Tormund. Should I? Hold on. Let's, let's keep going. Yeah, let's use this one. It's about to expire anyway. Yeah, I got, I got Tormund up the ass, bro. He said, fuck your speed, bro. That was a bad, it was a bad choice on my end. Like, I, I know, mistakes were made, and they were my mistakes. My bad. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Come on, Necrit. Maybe I should have gone Harima. Oh! Oh! God damn it, he chose it! <laughs> Let's bring in... No, let's just stick with it. And we'll bring in Harima. Harima! Surely we have to ban Rotos, though. Unless we don't ban Rotos. But then Taurus is there now, and that's going to be an issue. And then Armand's is there. We're kind of just stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Well, maybe I should have banned Siffy. Oh, God. This isn't going to go well. Warlord. Warlord, no, Armands, don't be a fucking dick. Oh my god, what a dick, dude. He's gonna sheep Warlord. I'm out of here. I'm out, I'm gone. Oh my gosh. I'm just doing live arena. Just to get the gear that I need for the missions, and then I'm probably never going to touch Live Arena again. 
It's quite unlikely. I, ju I just need it for the mission. I just need it for the mission. All right, let's do this. All right, so this one's going to take a bit because they're just going to keep on reviving Sun Wukong. But hopefully we, we can uh, Ronda our way through. Let's first get rid of you, Pytheon. Then try to get rid of... Du Actually, I should have hit the... Yeah, let's do this. Push back turn meter. Well, he's got decreased attack on right now, so I think we're okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's all right. All right, chalk that up. Let's do three more. Okay, Grant 67. He's a level 92. All right, I'm being lazy now. I'm being lazy. We're just going to do a uh, Sippy Rotos Mukage. We're not going to think too much about anything. We're just going to do what we do. Here I'm pretty sure we can outspeed 
if we take out Arbiter. Actually, his only damage is going to be coming from Nishak. So let's get rid of Nishak. And we'll take the Temporal Chains off of Siffy. And we'll let it run on auto, just because I... Uh... One, I'm tired, and I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is going to be relatively easy to win. All right, here we are. And our next fight, let's just throw in an auto and see what happens. Why would you go for Pytheon? That doesn't make any sense. Parima, what the hell are you doing, bro? Did he? Did Warlord hit his A3 yet? What are we doing here? What's going on? Okay. Swipe. I did not hit that. I hit the A2 first. Oh, I guess Warlord's AI does that first. Come on. Make a decision already, Grant. What's going on? Hit him. Mingers, Dirt Road Renegades. He's got the Jamarsa thing going on. All right, let's do Armands. Hmm. We'll bring Mikage and Harima in and try to slide in our. Sippy Rodos. Oh my god, he beat me to it. Alright. Um Well, I mean Warlord's always a good choice, right? Now we almost have to ban Crixia, right? Man, imagine having a Crixia. I just realized in her portrait, she's got hands coming up on her face. Oh man, if we get outsped, this guy's gonna bomb me to hell. I I hate bomb champions, dude. I feel like they're cheap. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I was worried that these guys were going to get hit with the bombs, but uh, it looks like we're okay. No! Get rid of her! Do it, Harima! Fuck! Harima! No! Why didn't you kill her? Harima! Well, 
Let's see here. We could, uh, what can we do here? Well, we, we can increase our buff duration. Hopefully that's enough to keep us sane. Right there. There it is. Oh God, thank you. I was worried that was going to be a loss. That would have been a, a brutally difficult loss for me to deal with. Ali Rob. Let's bring in our Mons. Oh, wait, why didn't I pick Rotos? Damn it. I'm not thinking. I was thinking about oat milk. Because I have an Instacart order coming in, and the guy just texted me and saying saying that he didn't have, uh, or that they didn't, that Costco didn't have uh, oat milk, that they only had silk milk. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, damn, Costco doesn't have oat milk? The people are really out here buying oat milk. He's going to pick. Rotos. So we're gonna do that. And I feel like we're gonna wanna go fast, otherwise that Siffy's gonna just outspeed the crap out of us. Looping us. So this is the pick. We're gonna have to get rid of UDK. Yeah, he was gonna pick Rotos. He was definitely gonna pick Rotos. There we go. Well, I mean, surely you're going to pick Duchess, right? You have to. You have to pick Duchess. The plan here is probably going to be smashing through Hefrax's stone skin. If he's in stone skin, try to smash through that. There you go. All right, so... Or we can remove the buffs. Right? Is that how this... We can do that too? Oh, we had a chance to, and we lost that chance. I should have gone with an ally attack, damn. Sleep? Or the A2? Okay. Uh-oh. Well, if he, hits, if he hits me that hard, then Rotos takes a turn, and then I do, I hit a Hefrax, so that wasn't a smart move. Because that would have probably ended me if Hefrak took that turn. And now we can transform and do this. Oh, really? Actually, I don't even know why I'm wondering because um, Mikaki doesn't actually have a lot of accuracy. Yep, there it is. Come on, hurry up and hit me. And now it's just going to just, oh my God. <sighs> Who do I even hit? I'll just throw it on auto. Oh god, if I'm lucky. Oh my gosh, am I about to harima this? Oh 
I bet he's shitting bricks too. Like he almost had it and then it's almost like like I'm holding my breath. Cause like Kareem just won't die here. Sleep, okay. Fuck. <laughs> 